Hi, welcome to Freezer Meals 101. I'm Sharla. I'm Christy. And today we are making meals to take camping. We are avid campers at our house. Full disclosure, I have a very fancy trailer that has a kitchen and so it's just like camping in a kitchen. But I mean, we still like have hot dogs over the fire and s'mores and stuff, but I'm a little bit more of a glamper than a camper. I have taken my Roomba camping Ooh. because our old fifth wheel had like way too much carpet and the kids were little and there was a lot of sand and I'm like, screw this, I'm taking my Roomba. That is glamping. That my, is... my new camper has a built-in vacuum. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, that is fancy. It is very fancy. So, but these, are ones that you can do over the fire. Yeah, today we are not making meals that you have to have like fancy things for. There is one thing and we'll get to that. But anyway, I do not go camping as much. I go camping once a year if I have to. I'm when I'm not sure camper. unless she didn't sit outside. No, <laughs> I don't love outside. I'm getting to, I go hiking now. Crazy. I like hiking. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. Um, but I don't, I like bugs and I and dirt and whatever, not friends. And so, and okay, I have to tell you because this is crazy, but I like, I didn't like camping already. And then three years ago, I think it was, we went camping and we rented a trailer and it was set up for when we arrived. And that's pretty fancy. I mean, that's very fortunate that that was the case, but there were rats in our trailer. There, were there rats was a in the trailer. family of rats and there was a rat and it was giant and it was like, I have a photo of it at my pillow, like coming out beside my pillow. So I'm at home <laughs> and that was the night we had the major storm here. That yes. was the night your basement flooded. So I'm at home cleaning up water from her basement because it She's was flooding. At my house. Like, she's texting me pictures of rats in this trailer, and I'm like, oh, poor Charlotte. Oh, like, my basement at home is flooding. Thankfully, I have amazing neighbors that were, like, bailing me out, literally bailing. Literally bailing. <laughs> but at the same time, I have rats in this trailer. I slept in the van that night, and one of my sons slept in the van, too, and my husband and some of the kids, they tried to battle with the rats, and when it became apparent that he was not going to win, um, and he was, like, playing whack-a-mole as it came up the burners in the stove, <gasps> like, it was, like, the craziest story. Anyway, then he gave up, and he went and slept in the other vehicle with some of the kids, and we had kids that were in tents and whatever. Who knew that but... the tent would be the safe option that night? <laughs> Totally! It's like, like, so, camping and I have not fully recovered. We're not, yeah, not quite back there, but this year I'm going to brave it again. I'm going to give this another try. I hope it's going to be a rat-free experience. I don't know what else to say. Like, I'm just hopeful. Um, but we're making meals so that we can take them camping, and it just makes it so much easier when you've got the stuff done ahead. But this time, we are doing some things that you could do. You don't necessarily need a trailer, except, well, I don't know if you need a trailer for this, but there's one that you need electricity for because we're bringing a crock pot. And that's our Dr. Pepper pulled pork. But even if you're tenting it, if you are in a campground that happens to have electricity, you can still plug it in and have it sit on your picnic table. You don't totally. need a trailer for that. Totally, and everything else. Pretty hard to making, do in the back bush, though. Yeah, you need you need electricity. You don't really like you can't have like solar panels to power your. You can say I'm, I glamp all you want, but most of our our camping is boondocking, which is dry camping. So sometimes we use a generator, but most of it's propane. We are not on services, so I I mean, yeah, there's roughing it. Yeah, and we, you get dirty. There's dirt. There's dirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, okay, today we are making taco meat for walking tacos because what would camping be without tacos in a bag or walking tacos or whatever you call them? We're making that Dr. Pepper pulled pork. Actually, we're not making it. We're going to show you a video of making it because we made it last week. Yeah, we totally did. <laughs> so, so, we're not going to re like remake we'll it. We'll walk you through what's in it, but that's what we're taking camping. And so, for the, for the so keen good. eyes out there in that one because we're just reusing the video sorry <laughs> but 
no sense having extra Dr. Pepper pulled pork, although it's so good. Maybe we should have. It's so good. It but, is so good. And Christy was saying in that video, like, people will come from other campsites to eat it because the smell is like, it's... <laughs> It is a good one. It it's is a, good a good one, one. for sharing because you can put some coleslaw on buns and and yeah, it's good. Anyway, it's and it just it's comfort. Food. And it's big. Lots of people can eat it. Yeah. You could you can feed your neighbors when they show it's up. It's huge. Yeah. We are doing. I'm excited about this. We've got our skewers already soaking. Mm -hmm. We're doing skewers. This is like we've never in our history of freezer meals ever done skewers. Have we really not? Never. We've sometimes done it where we have something like the chicken satay. So we do the peanut sauce and the marinade, but and we And then don't... we skewer the day up. Yeah. We let it thaw and marinate, and then we yeah. skewer the day up. We've never made, like, actual skewers and frozen them. Okay. So we're doing this, like, chicken with a marinade, and I'm kind of excited about the marinade. It's, like, Thai chili sauce mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, some mm -hmm. other things. It's, it's going to be... And then we're doing more, chi more skewers with vegetables. So it's going to be, like, a complete meal, and they'll cook more evenly. Yes. If you... You can mix meat and veggies on a skewer, but because these can be cooked from frozen, which is like, that's exciting too, because this is so little work. You can just pull them out and uh, put of them Of your trailer your, freezer. Or your cooler. <laughs> of your cooler, if it's still frozen. That's yeah. pretty cool. And then you can cook cool. them from thawed or frozen. Sorry. <laughs> very punny. I'm very punny today. <laughs> Uh, we're doing chili because, of course, and that's so easy to heat up on a camp stove, like, and or it's even in, you know the nice big uh, cast iron skillet. You get yeah. your chili going in there over your fire, campfire chili. That's it's good stuff. Good. That's camp. And chili, you can have it on those hot dogs, so you can have a chili dog. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. know. For me, chili is one of those like rainy day camping foods. Like if you have a rainy day when you're camping, it's just kind of that like. And for me, in. if we are camping in a place that has electricity, I will take my slow cooker and I will set up my slow cooker while I'm gone. And we are, we are avid quarters and ATV years. So we are gone from the campsite for several hours at a time. And then we come back and the chili is ready. It's awesome. You got to leave great. somebody behind to kind of like make sure your trailer doesn't burn down, but <laughs> <laughs> we've been lucky. <laughs> So far. <laughs> Lastly, we're going to do foil packets of chili lime cod. Because you can totally do that on a camp stove, over a campfire, and oh, it's going to yeah. have frozen beans in it, so it's going to be a whole meal. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's, uh, we have frozen not... green beans, by the way, not like brown beans. No, that It'll would be... be really gross with fish. <laughs> Just wanted to clarify, we're not even. <laughs> I mean, we haven't done, I've done foil packets before, but never um, done them ahead as a freezer meal. And so that's kind of exciting too. I did buy extra duty aluminum foil because apparently that is better for foil packets, but you can double up your foil if you don't have heavy duty aluminum foil. And so those are the meals we're gonna make and it's gonna be great. And then it's gonna be awesome. And then it'll make camping so much easier for both of us. So let's get started with the skewers because we've got the... It's all ready to go. Oh, 30 minutes. Did I say that already? You, you want to soak your skewers for 30 minutes in water so that... I don't know. Why do you do that? So that they have water content in them so they won't burn. Ah, oh, very good. <laughs> good job. I, I would like to think that when we freeze them, the water content will st stay in the yeah. skewer. It'll be a skewer popsicle. Yeah. Um, and it's a minimum 30 minutes. I mean, these have probably been sitting here for two hours because we had other stuff to do before this video. Yeah. But it was, yeah. And sure. the other thing that we're gonna do that is important with the skewers is we're gonna lay them out on parchment paper on a cookie sheet, and then we're gonna kind of flash freeze them so you want to have them in your freezer. If you have a flash freeze setting on your freezer, which mine does, you can do that. Or you can freeze them for a minimum of three hours till they're, they'll be fully frozen at that point. And then you want to transfer them at that point into your freezer bag or foil tray. Now, we're going to do foil trays today yes. because they're bulky. <laughs> yeah. 
and we don't want to poke holes in our freezer bag and then you get the air in there which causes your freezer burn yeah. and then you're like a sad camper and it'll leak if yeah. it happens to thaw then you get chicken juice oh yeah chili lime chicken juice or whatever <laughs> all, of, all over the rest of your cooler so you know we're gonna we're gonna keep them in a foil package or a foil container to keep them safe yes so that's yeah that's what's happening today that's what's happening today. let's get to it first i'm going to make the vegetable skewers i'm doing them first so i don't cross contaminate my skewer sticks when i reach into them every time i am putting on a variety of bell peppers some zucchini and some red onion or purple onion in big chunks and we're going to keep the seasoning very simple we're just going to put olive oil on it with a little bit of salt and pepper and some Cajun seasoning because the uh, the chicken skewers are gonna have quite a sharp and tangy sauce so I don't want them to be in too much competition with each other. Next I'm going to make the chicken skewers. This comes with a sauce that we're going to spread over it with the little brush after I make the skewers. It's one cup of sweet chili sauce, a quarter cup of pineapple juice, and a quarter cup of honey. I'm doubling this one so that the Charlotte's family can have one and I can have one. And we will flash freeze them on the sheet just like we did with the peppers, or with the vegetable skewers rather. coarsely chopped so mm -hmm. then we're going to have this is the chipotle peppers in adobo sauce and this is where you get a lot of your flavors and two cans of dr pepper now the dr pepper help break down the pork mm -hmm. and make it like super tender so i know it might sound weird we pop in our freezer meals but it's amazing it's like a beer roast, right? It does the same thing. If you don't like spicy, then when you go to cook this, you can take the actual peppers out. You're gonna leave like the sauce they were in, but you can take the actual peppers out when you go to cook this. I we love spicy. So. I don't super love spice, so I will take them out, but I'll leave one or two in. Or what I'll do is I will, I'll leave them in for like maybe half of it or when I go to shred it, I'll remove them, um, depending on who's gonna be eating it. But yeah, we don't like stuff quite as spicy at our house as they do at Charlotte's house. Brown sugar, so that was two tablespoons. We had measured it out before. And salt and pepper, so. Now this is one that you might want to have a second person hold the bag for you while you're pouring things in or you can put the bag in a juice jug or a tupperware container to mm -hmm. hold it open so that it doesn't spill because it's pretty liquidy next we're gonna do the taco meat for walking tacos you can find that recipe in our freezer meals 101 club i'll put the link for that down below for the walking tacos we're gonna do just a simple taco meat that's really versatile it can go in the walking tacos it can go in regular tacos and it is great for nachos or you could put it in eggs huevos rancheros oh you could do so much with this it's such a good one so we are doing Mexican veggie beef, half a cup, oh, one cup of grated cheddar cheese, taco seasoning mix, which is one package or four tablespoons, depending on what kind of setup you have. And we have the big Costco uh, container of it. Uh, tomato sauce, minced onion, and chili sauce. Next, I'm going to make chili lime cod. Each of the cod fillets 
are going to be individually wrapped in heavy duty tin foil and then sauce put in there with them so they can marinate as they defrost and then they can be cooked in the foil packets on a grill or on your campfire or in your cook stove somehow. And the sauce has lime juice, olive oil, garlic, a bit of brown sugar, paprika, pepper, and seasoning salt. This is a delicious one and it gets a little spicy and it's a good spicy. It yes. was easy. It was easy. I mean, it helped that we had already done the pulled pork before today, but still, <laughs> you know, it's super easy. And now, you know, when you're the mom and you go camping, like camping isn't that much of a break when you're the mom. Sometimes it seems that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But if you have your meals made ahead, then at least that's one less thing you have to think about, one less thing you have mm -hmm. to do. And you can just, and it's, it does. It feels more like a vacation for you. So. And you're still feeding good meals to your family. It's not just all hot dogs. I And cereal. Hot dogs and cereal. I went camping at Old McDonald's yeah. Park by Stetler. And I met up with this family and they came from Jamaica. And they were camping right beside us and we were in tents. I was with my kids. My husband was working and if he doesn't come... I just do it in a tent because I can't pull the trailer. And so I was with the kids and it was beside this Jamaican family. And she's like, oh, and she she had all this beautiful jerk chicken. And they had, oh, they, some of it they did on the fire, some of it they did on a, on a little hibachi grill. And and so she would always, come, she offered the chicken. So we got to eat a lot of jerk chicken, which was like primo. And she would come over and she'd be like, I'd like to see what you're making. And honestly, I was so, like, I wanted to learn more Canadian foods, she said. And I'm like, we're having hot dogs and craft dinner, which is like boxed mac and cheese for those of you that aren't from here. We call it craft dinner. And it really, it was the worst. I mean, those are fine. That's fine to go camping with. But I didn't have my freezer meals. I didn't have a trailer. We were tenting it and it was on a camp stove. And I'm like, this is not a great example oh, that I wanted Canadians to show eat. you of what Canadians eat. Because we're like, we're real meat and potatoes at our house. But that was not happening here. It was tube steak and KD. <laughs> and my kids were loving it. They didn't care. <laughs> well, my kids, my husband for years and years could not convince me to go camping. Afterwards, the rats have not helped his argument. But anyway, um, he couldn't convince me to go camping. And so he would take some of our kids and I would stay home with some. And the kids that used to go with him, they tell me now like that they eat so much better now. They're when like, you go? Yeah. yeah. They would walk over because his whole family does this huge like camping trip. That's the shirt I'm wearing. Um, they get shirts and, made. They send out the logo and they're like, here, make your own shirt. She There's has like, a bag. Like 60 or 70 people that go. So, I mean, it's this huge thing. But so my kids would wander over to like their aunt's campsites and have like pancakes for breakfast or whatever. Because otherwise, like it was cereal. Steak and Katie. <laughs> yeah. It, Katie would be fancy for them. Like it yeah. was just like they, they pretty much survived on just hot dogs and cereal. And the cereal did not always even have milk. So... <laughs> That's was, funny. So now they're like, we eat much better that you come. And the ants and everything have noticed that my kids don't wander by their site quite as often. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So maybe now that we have inspired you, you can get a few freezer meals together that are going to be good for you to take camping, whether it's in your trailer or on your camp stove or over your campfire. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we hope we've inspired you to elevate your camping food a little. And before we go real quick, we want to let you know down below that you can subscribe, you can like the video, you can leave a comment, you can come and join us in our Facebook group because it's a really great place over there. And if you ask about freezer meals for camping, there will be a million people that have ideas. And we have a membership club, if you didn't know, that you can join and it will give you recipes, and it will give you shopping lists, and great tips and ideas for your freezer meal, freezer meal journey. I am gonna link a video right there to last year's camping freezer meals video. 
And that has not only more tips and more recipes in it, but it actually has Christy on location oh, filming yes, from was, her trailer. I was on assignment and I filmed from my trailer. Very fancy. <laughs> and I give you a tour of my trailer. <laughs> so thank you for joining us today and happy cooking.